Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Zach and today I'm gonna go over my top five sunscreens that I recommend. If you're wondering why I'm dressed up, well, because sunscreen is very serious and we need to be formal about it. I'm just kidding. I had a different meeting that I needed to be dressed up for and I figured what better timing to hop on here and film this video. And I felt like, what am I gonna change into something casual? I mean, I might as well just post up in this. So here we are. If this type of content is of interest to you, then please hit the like button, share your comment, share with a friend, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So let's jump into it. Product number one that I have here is the Ulta MD UV Sport Broad Spectrum SPF of 50. Every single sunscreen that I'm gonna be sharing is 50 or higher because 50 is the minimum that I will feel comfortable recommending. SPF of 30 does give you good UVA and UVB protection, but studies have shown that in order to get the highest amount of UVA coverage, which is Korean and Japanese skincare, a PA system of one, two, three, or four pluses, four being the highest rating, in order to achieve a four plus PA, sunscreens typically are 50 or higher. So I only feel comfortable recommending 50 or higher even for sunscreens sold in the United States, which these are all US-based sunscreens. So with that out of the way, that's why I'm recommending 50 plus for UVA and UVB coverage. And also people don't usually apply enough SPF to even get SPF 50. So if you apply it, but not enough, and you end up getting SPF of 40, that's okay. But if you have an SPF of 30 and you don't apply a sufficient amount and you're left with SPF 20, that's not gonna be sufficient. And so this sunscreen retails for $25. I don't think that that's a too unreasonable of a price. You get three fluid ounces in this product. The sunscreen ingredients are zinc oxide, octane oxate, and octisalate. So it is a combination sunscreen with zinc being the physical sunscreen that protects you from UVA and UVB. Octane oxinate and octisalate being UVB chemical filters. This really shouldn't irritate, burn, or sting on your skin. It is fragrance free and it is water resistant for 80 minutes. A couple of skincare ingredient call is that it has beeswax, which is gonna be really hydrating and skin softening. It also is, has dimethicone, which is gonna make it glide onto the skin easily, which I find that this one really goes on nicely. It doesn't skip areas, it doesn't drag, it doesn't pull up my skin, it just gently glides across. And it also has vitamin E, which is gonna provide the skin with antioxidants to fend off free radicals and be softening on the skin as well. This says that it is a full body sunscreen and it's recommended for all skin types. I have only used this on my face um, and it has worked great. Really, I would recommend this mostly for normal to dry skin. If you have oily skin, this might be a little bit too much of a do for you, but Ulta MD has other great, amazing sunscreens like the UV Clear that is better for oily skin. Sunscreen number two that we're gonna jump into is the Dermatology Broad Spectrum SPF 45 Anti-Aging. So this sunscreen re retails for $21, you get two fluid ounces. Although it is a big jar, you do only get two fluid ounces. It is a pump, which I like. It is oil-free, fragrance-free, and it is suitable for all skin types, including sensitive skin. This sunscreen uses zinc oxide and octane oxinate. So zinc oxide, again, UVA and UVB physical filter, and octane oxide is a UVB chemical filter. A couple of ingredient callouts for this product are the niacinamide, which is literally the third ingredient on this list. That is amazing. Niacinamide has so many benefits for the skin. Niacinamide is gonna be great for blemishes, oil regulation. It's going to brighten up old blemish scars. It is such an amazing ingredient. I'm so happy that it's in this. Some people do report that it can make their skin sting a little bit or tingle. If you are sensitized by niacinamide, then this is not gonna be for you because it is pretty potent. It also has glycerin in it, which is gonna be hydrating and dimethicone. So it is going to smooth onto the skin nicely. I would highly recommend this one. I do not have a discount code but uh, somebody that I follow on YouTube named Abby does and her code is Abby20 and I will also leave that link down in my description box down below and that code will give you 20% off again it's not my code just somebody that I follow I will also leave her channel link down below next up is a super affordable option and this is the CVS health clear zinc lotion SPF of 50 
you are gonna get four fluid ounces in this product. The sunscreen ingredients in this are octocrylin and zinc oxide. So octocrylin is a UVB chemical filter and zinc is the UVA and UVB physical filter. A couple of ingredient callouts for this product is that it has beeswax, which again is gonna be hydrating and softening. It has dimethicone, which is gonna make it glide on very nicely. It also has silica, which is gonna be good for oil absorption. It has aloe vera to soothe the skin. And this sunscreen is called a clear zinc, but I will tell you that this one does leave a little bit of a white cast. It's not crazy, but it is definitely more than the Dermatology or the Ulta MD products that I have mentioned. And this retails for a very low price of $7.29. I have seen on sale, buy one, get one 40% off. So definitely try to get it on sale. Next up is the La Roche-Posay Anthelos SPF 60 melt and milk this retails for $35.99 however you can get this at costco so if you spend the $39.99 at costco you're not only going to get this product but you're also going to get a small version that is pretty matte and so this retails alone for i believe $19.99 so you're getting a good savings by buying this at costco together if you have the membership definitely check that out anyways on to the anthelo 60 so so this has a dimethicone, which is going to be really nice. It's going to help slip onto the skin. It is a very hydrating formula. It is not good in facial hair. So I find that around my beard area, my mustache area, it can cling a little bit. Even though I don't keep facial hair, if I have a little bit, if I didn't shave that morning or something, it always clings to it. And even though this is an all chemical sunscreen with avabenzone for UVA, homosalate for UVB, octisalate for UVB, and octocrylin for UVB. This product leaves a little bit of kind of a white residue left on the skin, not really a cast. So that's interesting. La Roche-Posay has shown efficacy for stabilizing the avabenzone, which is the UVA ingredient. You get five fluid ounces of this product, so you do get a good amount of product, but it is fairly expensive, but it does work. The other version that comes in Costco, I'm kind of going to combine these together because I would recommend getting it at Costco because I think this is $35 is just too much for this product, but $39 pretty well. Get both. I think that's more reasonable. I like this one more because it's super matte. Um, this helps. I love it in my T-zone, my nose, around, around my nose, my forehead. This is great for the summer. It is very matte. And this I find doesn't leave a cast at all. So interesting to note there. And this is the Anthelos Clear Skin. And the last product that I'm going to mention is the La Roche-Posay Mineral SPF of 50. This comes with 1.7 fluid ounces. This is the only product that I'm mentioning in my top five that is a fully mineral sunscreen. So this only has zinc and titanium dioxide, both for UVA and UVB protection. This is a ultra light sunscreen fluid, so you have to shake it up really good before you use it, and it pours out like a liquid, and then you just apply it onto the skin. This is a very matte formula because it is a um, ultra light sunscreen fluid, so this is great for oily skin people. There isn't much of a white cast on this, it absorbs in seconds, and um, you just have to remember to shake it very well. And for a mineral sunscreen, I think the cast on this is very, very little. Ingredient call-outs, we have dimethicone. Again, all these products seem to have dimethicone. It's going to help smooth onto the skin and apply better. So there's no skip areas or drag areas. Other ingredient call-outs that it has is silica and talc. Both ingredients absorb oil out of the skin. They can also be a little bit dehydrating though. So again, if you're not an oily skin person, this is not for you, okay? There's no really hydrating or replenishing ingredients in this. This is pretty much sunscreen for oily skin, period. But it is a good product. This retails for $33.50. A little bit on the pricey side. My only complaint about this is same with the other La Roche-Posay sunscreen is that in my beard kind of area, it does cling a little bit. But reapplying this throughout the day feels like nothing. It's super lightweight. I love this. This is 
This is a staple in the summer because I want to get really good UVA and UVB coverage in the summer. I spend most a lot more time outside compared to colder months. So I like having a mineral sunscreen in the United States. Although I have been checking out Japanese and Korean sunscreens and I'll leave that video linked up here. Yeah, I really like this. This is also water resistant, but only for 40 minutes. It is fragrance free. So I do, I do like this one. So there you guys have it. Those are my top five sunscreens. I know it seems a little bit weird that I'm giving you guys my top five favorite sunscreens as we're exiting out of summer, but sunscreen is really important. You need to wear it every single day, even if you're indoors, because UVA rays, which penetrate deep into the skin, they age the skin, they damage collagen. Those rays come right through windows and through clouds. So you need them at all times, as long as the sun is up. So it's really important to apply sunscreen, even if you think that you don't need it. So even though, at least in America, we are headed into winter, it is still super important to be wearing your sunscreen every day. And those are my top five sunscreens. If you guys would like to know other sunscreens that I use or my skincare routine, just let me know and I can do that for you guys. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.